Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton, and joining us, as usual, is Martin Batella, health coach at Life Enthusiast. Hey, Martin, how are you doing? Top class. Top class. Awesome. So today, we want to talk about a brand new Exila product, and I'm very, very excited about it. I love the whole line of Exila, and I'm right now on Stratiflora and I take the liver one uh, every week. It's not one that you take all the time. So this is called Lazarus, and it sounds like uh, it might be based on the biblical character Lazarus, who Jesus brought back from the dead, and I'm thinking this is something that brings your body back from whatever abuse you've put it through over the last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 years, uh, and brings it back into a really uh, amazing state. That is a correct guess. Javari constructed it primarily for himself when he uh, had his brush with death. You may know that he uh, first was bitten by a recluse spider, which really challenged his immune system. And then subsequently to that, he had a scratch and he was infected on his foot with a, with a flesh-eating uh, streptococcus. Um, oh, no. I knew he'd had some challenges. It's the MRSA. So that, that was a uh, significant problem. I mean, in retrospect, a person who was not as well-nourished and well-fed by phenomenal products would have not survived the situation he was in. Right, right. In fact, he told me sometime recently his doctor pulled his chair right between his legs, like right in there, face right six inches from his, and says, you know that you're an outlier. This is not survivable normally. And this is after he had survived, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, like he's, he's not perfect. He's in trouble, right? Like he, he is alive, but he is not picture of health by a long shot. Right. One of the, when you get a flesh eating internal uh, infection that's just consuming you, they start cutting off the body parts that are infected. So they were planning on cutting off his uh, first the foot, then the leg, then whatever. He actually still has them. However, they put him on intravenous antibiotics a strong cocktail of that. And the side effect of that is significant damage to his internal organs. So he has, he has damage to the islets of lag, lagger hands in his uh, pancreas. So he's borderline diabetic and he has significant scarring in his kidneys. So he has not enough capacity to, uh, to process. Which explains one of the three benefits of Lazarus, which is repairs kidney damage. The other two, just so that you know, is reverses internal and external scarring. Hmm. I wonder where he would have got that from. And the third is reverse aging, wasting weight process and feeling useful. Youthful. And I guess useful as well. Right? Yes. So it's really interesting because many of the manufacturers that Life Enthusiast works with are people who have had a problem and decided they were going to try and figure out a way to solve it themselves, or they work side by side or, or uh, with, I was thinking actually of the herbal tinctures like uh, FibroEase, where they work with people that have specific problems and they are, they are so good at that they're such high level herbalists, they're able to create um, blends that work very, very closely with whatever the specific problems are. Indeed. The top ingredient in this product is allantoin, which is, uh, which is something that's um, richly present in wild yams and aloe vera and a few other products and it's it's very good at desquamating 
means meaning it encourages natural exfoliation or exfoliation. So it, it helps to de-scar things. It relieves dryness, it's protecting and it's hydrating and it's healing. And so, so one of the problems people have as they grow older is they really dehydrate. That's why the skin is all wrinkly. Right. It's, because it's not got the moisture. It can't hold. I don't know if it can or it can't hold. It doesn't have the moisture that it had when we were 10 years old or 20 years old. Right. Yeah, in fact, the aging is called keratinization, which is there's more keratin than there used to be. Like in a young person, there's way more water in a cell. And the older we get, the less there is. And that's this hardening or... Well, well it's like anything that dries out. It, you actually just reminded me when I was about 17, 18, I, had, I have contacts still, but I had contacts and I had a shower and the, the shower room was full of fog and I'm trying to put these contacts on. And of course, I miss... And so I have one contact and one no contact, and I got to go do whatever I got to do. So I think I took the other one out, put my glasses on, ran out the door, and as I'm running, I said, Mom, I lost my contact lens in the shower. If you see it, like, don't throw it out or something, right? I mean, it's just a little thing. So I come back, you know, four or five hours later, and my mom goes, well, I, uh, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I broke your contact lens. I'm going, what are you talking about? It's all spongy and everything else. Well, it had sat, sat on the sink for four hours and dried out, and my mom's cleaning or whatever she's doing, or she's looking for me because she's just such a sweetheart, and she sees this saran wrap in the shape of uh, the size of a, of a contact lens, and she goes and she sort of picks it up, and, she's, and, she's, and it snaps because it's dried out, right? Yep. So that's kind of what happens to our body, I guess, is as we grow older, we don't have the moisture and things can snap. Right. That brittleness. So anyway, that's one of the ingredients that is richly present in the formula. But it's not there added as a chemical. It's there as a natural ingredient of the aloe vera and of the xylitol and elderberry and uh, uh, other items that, that he's cleverly put together to uh, to hold it sea, sea buckthorn for example right like i could i could name all the various ingredients and each one of them has a story of its own that's that it could tell right like ginger stimulates uh, uh, creation of new cells and exchange of minerals and or other cellular fluids or ellagic acid stimulates turnover of uh, old cells shutting off and new cells turning on. Um, or hyaluronic acid. Yeah, that's the hydrating. The, each molecule of hyaluronic acid attracts something like, I think it's 10 times its volume in moisture. So wherever it's present. And it's normally the most richly present in the cartilage of our joints because that's where the lubrication and cushioning is really in high demand. Ah, okay. But so Martin, how often would, would you recommend somebody you know, make a drink or a smoothie using Lazarus? The person who needs it because they are in trouble and price is not an object because you're really trying to restore yourself from a significant setback. Uh, Take a bottle a month. Just push on it. Push hard. As a preventive, I've, um, I've taken a bottle of it because I felt frivolous, and uh, I definitely felt better for it. So it's the highest quality ingredients mixed in the optimum uh, amounts and also ground, if I can put it that way, or powderized in a way that doesn't cook the ingredients. One of the big problems that you have with a lot of these powdered stuff that you see on the grocery stores is they have these massive grinders that come down, grind it so much that it basically heats it, cooking the enzymes, which means they are no, they're, they're dead, 
they're not of any use to you. But of course, they're all on the package. You've got all these enzymes, but you've got all these things in it. And of course, it's just like eating chalk. It tastes like chalk, acts like chalk. It mixes with water like chalk. In other words, you kind of need a blender to kind of get it all together and has very little impact. And what we've done here is we've taken all of the last probably 40 or 50 years of knowledge that Javari has accumulated and what he's used in him, his own health recovery from basically having a cousin to Ebola, I guess, in his, in his body eating away. And we put it together for you. And it's not cheap, uh, but it is well worth the money spent. If, first of all, if you want optimum health, right, and uh, you're willing to give up pizzas and uh, French fries and Coca-Cola, then this is probably something that over the course of a month uh, you'll save money on because you won't be spending money on all the stuff that's not helpful for your health that you're sticking in your mouth. And if you're in a situation where you are at death's door and the doctors are talking about sawing off a leg or they're talking about ripping open your chest and seeing if they can't put a new heart in or something, then it might be a good idea to take this for a few months before you make those decisions and see what happens. We're not, we can't say this is going to cure you or anything else like that, but once you start having... Um, super nutrition put into your system, your body is able to do things that it couldn't do when it's deprived of everything that it needs in order to create new cells, regenerate and heal itself. Yeah, good point, Scott. <laughs> You're shedding the proper perspective of this, on this. Um, I guess it should be said something like this. This product is about $10 a day, so it's not the end of the world. It's two, two trips to Starbucks, take that, or or this. So it's not the end of the world, but it's not a cheapie. Anyway, indeed, the quality of the ingredients versus what's on the label. The label never tells the story. The label is only a graphic representation of the names of things that are in it. And right. Scott, Scott correctly illustrated it. It's without trying it, you will not understand how different a well-made product is from a not well-made product, even if the labels were identical. Right. And, and so, I, you know, Martin's brought up, this is our most expensive excellent product. And if you're not on death's bed and you're, you know, and you want a great superfood, then I would recommend that you start with something like Iridesa or Stratiflora. Uh, those are my two favorites, right? And Stratiflora is for the digestive system and Iridesa is kind of like a, an overall thing. What I notice is after, and of course I've been on and off, you know, like at, not every month, but most months I have a bottle with me. And I notice that if I go a month without that I feel like I have less energy, I feel, I notice it. I've never noticed anything before, right? And so that's why I'm just so excited about this product. Uh, that's where I would start. If you, if you really, you know, if money is not an object and your health is bad or your health is bad, mm -hmm. then try the Lazarus because it's all about resurrecting you from a really bad place because that's why it was made. Javari made it for himself. He was in a very bad place. Uh, but if you want to start off uh, slower or, uh, you know, with less of a, you know, it's a $360 investment if it's not on sale, then uh, try your, your Desca. That would be, right. that would be my way of so doing the, it. The specifics, why would one want this? This is for people who are wasting away. Um, so the rapid decline, get on this, don't wait for it to get really bad. And uh, if you're already okay and want to just experience what it feels like to be in tip-top shape, run through a bottle and talk to us. I want to know how it affects people. So and Martin, if you were a world-class athlete, would this be something that you should take? You could. Um, now it's not designed for world-class athletes, just so everyone knows. But when you're talking about recovery, when you're talking about uh, cellular mm -hmm. function at peak performance, this is going to be something that would, 
probably work well. It would absolutely work. It would work great for the recovery phase of the training. Yes, uh, unfortunately, I don't have that many uh, high performance athletes on my mailing list to ask and test. So those of you who are listening to it, um, call me. I want to know. Great. So is there anything else you want to tell us about Lazarus before we uh, move on? It tastes great. It mixes easily with water. It, there's, this is not a medicine. This is a food thing. We don't make huge batches. But right now, there's a wonderful opportunity to give it a go. Martin, before we wrap it up, do you have a health tip for everybody? My gosh, the biggest health tip for everybody would be to eat whole, living, undenatured foods. Because those are the enzyme-containing foods, the spark of life. As Scott mentioned earlier in the conversation, it doesn't look different, but it behaves different. When there is a living enzyme in the food, it will fire up the living processes. So that's the health tip. Eat whole, green, undenatured foods. That's what these Exola products are. Cool. Great. Thank you, Martin. Thank you for joining us, taking time out of your busy day. I know that you uh, spent a lot of time working with people and, and improving their health. And thank you for joining us. This has been the Life Enthusiast on online radio and, net radio and TV network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.